Multi-engine flight test prep. Okay, we're gonna do engine failure and overshoot. So our simulated ground level is gonna be 4,800 feet. Okay. So if we get to 4,800 feet, we crash. The next time I fly this airplane, there'll be an examiner sitting in the right seat. I'm gonna call for an overshoot. The procedure is full power, pitch for climb, and then clean up the gear and flaps. However, I'm gonna fail your engine when you do that. Are you ready? Yep, I mean, the idea is I'm not supposed to be ready, but okay. <laughs> overshoot now. Simulated engine failure. This is gonna be more of a real-time, old-school training flight. It's my final lesson before my multi-engine flight test, so we're running through the whole test routine. If you're more interested in the exciting, story-driven type adventures, there are more than 100 episodes in the back catalog. Definitely check out flightchops.com for that stuff. Your big advantage over a typical student who's learning this, you have flown a lot of different airplanes. And so just flying the plane is not hard for you. Um, I mean, yeah, it's faster than some other little airplanes you may have flown, but it's not out of your experience level. So you probably have a much easier time than the typical person who's uh, who's trying to do this rating. Oh, we're not done yet, we'll see. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, the only thing I could suggest to you is just memorize that drill and also memorize the emergency procedures checklist, right? So things if there's box. anything in the box you're required to know from memory. Debriefing this footage was a huge help, and spoiler alert, I passed the test. The winter weather after this flight meant I had to wait almost a month before actually getting to do it. I rescheduled the test three times. There's nothing worse than canceling and rebooking a flight test several times due to weather. I was in a perpetual state of nervous energy for that whole time. Does that pre-check ride feeling ever go away? The first thing we did was a normal circuit, and since part one covers the takeoff, I left that out but I'm including the landing from that first pattern in this flight. Okay, so yeah, we didn't talk about the uh, aim point, but you're talking about... You see that first little taxiway on the right? Yeah, so I'm definitely high. Assuming the landing went okay, the plan was to do a touch and go. Take on that center line. Walk the power back a little bit, we're gonna be long. Then to head to the practice area for the rest of the flight test items. Okay, speed is good, 95. 200 feet, gears down. Okay, so I'm not touching anything, you're doing gear and flaps? That's correct. At this point, I had less than four hours in the plane, so it was still fairly unfamiliar to me. Hi, throttle's idle, you're still high. Put her down. They're a little long, that's okay. Flaps are okay. Notice Kevin is guarding the gear handle. Touch and goes in complex aircraft are not recommended, especially if you're inexperienced. 85, lift off. Positive rate. Gear up. Now this is a very thorough lesson, but it has been cut down from a much longer flight. Please don't consider this a training video. Something I'd forgotten to think about was the rudder trim, which is not something I've got much experience with. I really want to turn left. Do you want to take it for a second and tell me if you think that feels right? Oh yeah, control. Oh yeah, look at that. So what's going on there? A rudder trim, probably. That was a lot of rush. Yeah, it was really strong roll. Okay, you have control. I have it. So I thought it was funny because it looked like neutral from where I'm sitting, but just that little bit, it was enough to make it really. Yeah, if you can see, it's kind of neutral now, just from feel and look. Yeah. And it actually, the pin is just slightly right. Yep. That's good. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. So that's the lesson there. But I managed to fly a circuit like that. I'm <laughs> kind of amazed, actually. <laughs> okay, so we're 2300, we're 24 squared, everything is still green. Yeah, you can do your cruise checklist now. Yeah, I can actually let go of it. Couldn't let go of it before. Okay, power set, car flaps are going to be closed. Good bumps are coming off. Make sure you do them one at a time. Oh, and look at pressure. it. Yeah. It's important to turn off the fuel pumps one at a time while watching the fuel pressure. All right, climb for 24, or 4,000 on heading 240. That's correct. Another thing about multi-engine flying is making sure your props are in sync. You hear those props? Yeah, not balance. Some airplanes do this automatically, but the Seneca does not. That's better. Yes, it is. Power set, car flaps are closed, fuel pumps are off. 
Fixture, now we should lean it. Yep. Hey, fly. All right, let's make your altitude 4,500 feet. Fly heading 240. Yeah. Didn't trim it, that's why. That's good. Yeah. 245. Well, that's a fail, right? You gotta maintain your altitude. <laughs> and then we'll do a steep turn up there. Yep. So we'll uh, start from 240 to the left around the 060 and then reverse. Heading up at 240, we take 4,500 feet. Okay, so uh, do you want to see us do a clearing turn or is looking around good looking enough? Around for, is okay. For a steep turn. Okay. All right, starting on heading 240 at altitude 4,500 feet to the left. Here we go. Apparently, forgetting to do your lookout is a big gotcha for flight test maneuvers. No, we don't have enough bank angle. The steep turns were solid on this practice flight. There you go. But on the test, I was feeling the pressure and my altitude holding was a little more sloppy. Here comes 060, reverse. Stay hey, right. Stay hey, right. I did manage to correct during the turn and get back to where I should have been by the end. Although I did remember my lookouts, and that probably also saved me from failing this item. Here comes 240. Yep, roll out on 240, maintain 4,500 feet. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's do flight at reduced airspeed. So on this heading in altitude. Yep. Slow down clean at 90 miles per hour. So how much, what's the power supposed to be for this? Well, it's whatever you need, right? Ultimately, you're going to end up around 14 inches. Got to maintain altitude, though. So basically, don't climb while I'm setting it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's my gear warning, there's nothing I can do about that. Maintain hitting 240 and 4500 feet while we slow it down. We'll slow down clean on the setting and altitude at 90 miles per hour. But I guess you want to enter it in a stable way so that you don't have to chase it, right? That would be better, so, you know, if you make smaller power reductions, it's a little easier to manage. But it takes longer. You have to keep pitching up and trimming, pitching up and trimming. And you want to not lose 100 feet. That's it. Plus or minus 100 feet is your. That is correct. Do I need to be full fine? Uh, no, you can leave it where it is. Okay. Really? At this speed, you wouldn't go full fine? No, I wouldn't. Okay. And I never changed my mixtures. So you can leave been. that alone. Don't you do a hazel check and all that before you do these type of things? You would have, but we didn't. I got bit for not doing my hazel check the way I normally would. This is why primacy and doing things the way you always do is important. Okay. So we're relatively stable now? I should have just done a hazel check before my steep turns and then I would have done what I normally do and then I would have been rich. <laughs> anyway, okay. Right? Is that the way I should do it? That's my primacy. Do a hazel check before I start air work and then it's kind of done. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that next time. Okay. Bring the power back to 15. Uh, let's go gear down. Green. Hey, flaps 10 degrees. And all the while I'm maintaining my altitude. Yeah, so since you're adding drag, you have to bump the power up a little bit. Hey, if you're happy with that, go flaps 25 degrees. And of course, when you add flaps, you need to lower the nose a little bit. If you're happy with that, flaps 40. Not there yet. Hang on, just stabilizing. That's okay. I wanted to be sure to have it trimmed well to reduce the workload. This plane has an in-op autopilot and nothing much else to assist me while hand flying. So I might as well avail myself of any help I can get. Okay. You happy with that? Happy with it. Okay, right turn now please. To a heading of uh, 330, you're clear right? All right. Maintain 90 miles per hour, 4,500 feet. And I need to explicitly ask to be clear, like I can't assume the examiner's gonna do it for me, so I'm always gonna ask for it. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. So height is good, area is good, security is good, engines look all right. This is our clear turn. Hey, okay, left turn heading 300. Left turn 300, clear left. Okay. Okay, and let's descend to 4,500 feet. Maintaining 90. Yes, please. Yep. Okay, we're going to do approach to stall landing configuration now. So what we're going to do is we'll reduce the power to idle, put the props and mixture forward. And then just try to maintain altitude. You won't be able to, the aircraft will want to stall. Recover at the first indication of stall, which will be full power. Pitch the nose down. And then assume a climb attitude, clean up the gear and flaps. Okay, maintain altitude. 
Airframe's buffeting, yeah, full power. Pitch for climb. Pitch, pitch, pitch for climb. Why well, should I be building speed? We got speed, we gotta climb. Okay, and then gears up. And flaps up. Let's not go below VMC though. Probably the most important thing in multi-engine flying is understanding VMC. Part one really gets into this in great detail, so I'm not gonna cover it here. Okay, let's go power to idle now. We'll do full stall. And make sure some props forward. So for this, we're gonna go right to stall. We're not gonna recover at the first slide. Traffic, Bravo Julia Whiskey is over the Rockton tanks, 2,500. I was waiting for a nose drop that never came, and as Kevin pointed out, once the stick is full back and you're unable to maintain the altitude, you've stalled. Pitch for climb. Yeah, it's not like a secondary stall. To the, that's too slow you, still. You don't get a secondary stall here. I have control? Yep. So, this is the about the attitude for best rate of climb. All right, look at our speed. Yep. See where the horizon is in relation to the window? Yeah. So when I say pitch for climb, Let's that's what I want you to do, right? So don't be, don't be shy. Well, you, you won't get a secondary stall unless you pull a nose way up, right? I was worried about pulling too fast, I guess, for an accelerated into the... Yeah, it, well, you, you don't want to jerk it yeah. up, but kind of like this. Okay, so we're stalled, lower the nose, power. Pitch for climb. Yeah, okay, cool. And then so hold, that's, hold it I there. I just hold it there. And then the climb it'll, it'll drag its way out. Got it. So that's how you minimize your altitude loss, right? Yeah. Okay, you have control? Have it. All right, again. There it is. Goes down. Pull power. So that's my problem is I'm pushing it down to recover too much? Yeah, you're pushing it down too far. Okay. And I'm holding it here with the climb. Establishes. Yeah, so that was the problem. My recovery technique is to push down and add power, but you're saying more so just adding power will get you out of it? Well, you do need to put the nose down, it's just not, not, as, not as much. Got not it. as much. Yeah, okay. Try one more. There it is. Pull power. That's better. Bring it there. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. It lost like 30 feet. Awesome. Okay, back to cruise. Maintain 5,000 now. All right, we're going to look at the engine fair and cruise now. The cruise check or just get into it? Well, we'll just get into it. We'll assume your cruise checks are already done. All right, so you're going to fail it on me and I'm going to do the whole thing? That is correct. Yep. So are you ready? Yep. Back to area, probably doing it with the mild Okay, I have an engine failure. It's uh, controlling it. Orbiting. Power. Full. Full. Maintain altitude. Full. I'm climbing, so that's too aggressive, eh? All right, so dead foot is right. So I'm going to verify. Identify, sorry. Then verify. So... Throttle to idle, no air speed change. Right. Uh, so we're cruising, so we can do a cause check. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to cross feed. Alternate air. Mixture is where I want it. Everything's over here. Second mags. Uh, I can check my fuel pump on. And I think I got everything. I so think you did. It didn't work. Yeah, so we're so going to shut it down. Part one covers this in more detail, but to simulate feather, the student is meant to pull the prop control back one inch, and then Kevin adjusts the power and prop settings accordingly to simulate an actual feather. But in part one, we did actually shut down an engine, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so now you can pull the checklist out and do the rest of the items. Traffic in the new Denby area. The first way I know already is power as required. Alpha Papa 4500. Get this one back to 25. Get it. Northeast of New Denby. We'll be practicing up where we're to the south of New Denby between New Denby and Air. Thank you, Alpha Papa. Okay, so power is required. Trim is feeling good. Fuel pump in off. Engine's going off. Do you have the power required? Did you set? I set it 25. Okay, good. Yep, so I got my, my good engine not freaking out anymore. Okay. Alright, so cow flap on the bad engine is closed. Electrical load reduced, so... But we're not using very much, so we don't have, have to worry do about that. it. Alright, so then we would turn off our bad engine and we would cross-feed the good one. If necessary. We don't need to change that. Yeah, if you have my thumb over there, if you need it. 
Okay, so... But well, uh, we definitely do want the inoperative engine off, but cross feed, we have lots of fuel. We have no fuel imbalance. That's not required. All right, so everything's good, right? So notify ATC if necessary, find a place to land. All right, I'm gonna give you back the engine. Okay, we're gonna do engine failure and overshoot. So our simulated ground level is gonna be 4,800 feet. Okay. So if we get to 4,800 feet, we crash. Yeah, so we're, we're 500 feet above ground, is the idea? That's correct. So I'm gonna get her into landing configuration. Yeah, so you can slow us down to 90 miles per hour. You can lower the gear and flaps whenever the speed would allow you to. Yeah. And we'll stay on a 240 heading. So remind me, just because I'm trying to memorize the speeds, 150 is flat as gear extension and 125 is flaps, but we're... Yeah, don't climb though. I gotta get less power here. Anyway, that was correct. 125 for full flaps, so 160 for 10 degrees, 140 for 25 degrees. Traffic in the air area, Cessna 152 is all gang down for Papa, 4,500 miles to the north of the air, upper air work. Three green. I want full flaps, yeah, landing configuration? Yep. As gas is on, undercarriage is good, mixtures are gonna go rich, props are going forward, and switches are gonna be fuel pumps on, do it now. Yes. One, two, pressures both came up independently a little bit. Okay, so okay. maintain this heading and airspeed, continue the descent. I'm gonna call for an overshoot, the procedure is full power, pitch for climb, and then clean up the gear and flaps. However, I'm gonna fail your engine when you do that. Are you ready? Yeah. Overshoot now. Pitch for climb, clean up the gear and flaps. Simulated engine failure. Okay, so we've lost our, I uh, got dead foot here. I'm gonna make sure I got full power. I'm flying the airplane. Lost my right engine. I'm gonna verify it by adding throttle. Didn't happen. Try to identify. Verify, is that nothing changed on the airspeed? I'm gonna feather it. Okay. Right, go down. Fly the blue line, ball half out. No more than so, five degrees of bank into the good engine. I was a little slow and it was too much bank. Gotta stay on your heading though. We have too much I bank. I can't remember what heading was, 24? That yeah, bugged. heading bug. This is not the pitch angle for blue line. Look outside. I want it right there. Yeah. Fast, yeah, okay. There now, we're climbing. Okay, level off. I'm gonna give you the engine back. So oh, not bad, you need to stay on heading is all. And make sure you get that pitch angle, right? All right, so while you're in the turn, you can get the gear out again. We're gonna try another one. Okay, gear's coming down. This time I'm gonna stay on heading of 060. Yeah. That flaps 40. Jump check. Start to descent. Gas, undercarriage, mixtures. Props full fine, switches, fuel pumps are still on, bags are where we want them. All right, there's 90. All right, so there's a 500 foot marine descent through a 20, or 5300. Double check is complete. Okay, are you ready? Yep, I mean, the idea is I'm not supposed to be ready, but okay. <laughs> Overshoot now. Simulated engine failure. Okay, I got a dead left foot. I'm going full power, flying the airplane. Full power. And uh, that's my left foot is dead, so I'm gonna verify, identify, feather. Okay, do the three things. All half oh. out, pitch for blue line. Five degrees of bank, you do the good engine. Look outside, this is not the pitch attitude you want. Yes, I want right there. Trim for that. that. Oh, you actually pretty much were. You just you were just pushing the nose down. Now we're climbing. Hey, we lived. Okay, level off. On the first engine fail, the overshoot, you had a pretty big heading change, but on the second one, you did. Yeah, you're all over that. So once we get within 10 miles, I'm going to tell you that your left engine's on fire. Simulated, of course. And you're going to do the engine securing drill, which it starts off with. Throttle to idle on the affected engine, then full power on the other engine. And we'll do a single engine circuit and land on 3-2. Hey, you're 10 miles out. Left engine simulated fire. Okay, so I'm going to pull the power back on left. Yeah. All the way. Doing this by, yeah, okay, I'm doing this by memory, but I guess it's going to be mixture and all that's going to start happening for the drill. Go to full power on your other engine. 
Yeah, it just seems counterintuitive to slam the throttles when you're in a descent. Okay, so we sh we're shutting it down. Left. Yeah, so you're gonna feather the left engine. Okay. Right. And then it would be fuels off. I mean, mixtures lean, fuels off. All the switches are off. Yeah, fuel pump off, mags off. All right, All right. we're not gonna actually do any of that. All right. Uh, not for real, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, you can back, reduce back power, off. power, yeah. yeah. And you gotta get your in range checks done too. Eggs are on. Oh. Ask John, lights are as required, I guess to turn them on. Yeah. Mixture is rich. The one I want. You got the left one set a bit lean just for visual reference. To simulate that you yeah. pulled it to idle cut off. Treasure. Okay, gauges are still good. So the engines, fuel sectors are on. The belt's good. Yeah. You managing the symmetry of all this, or that one's already simulated feather, so I just worry about my one throttle. You only have the right throttle. Yeah. Burn to traffic, Oscar, Sierra Mio's three to the west. 2,200, we'll train overhead for the mid right downwind for 3-2. We're looking for traffic off of 2-7. Uh, uh, if we do end up having to go around, we will use both engines. Okay. We're not going to do a single engine go around. All right, uh, because I'm joining mid downwind, should I get gear down now or should I wait because I have one engine? You should wait until you're in the downwind. maybe uh, turning base. Yeah, so we're doing everything late. We're just not going to forget. That's correct. All right, so we've done our in-range check. We're at circuit altitude. Victor JQ, we're turning final on runway 27, full stop. Okay, Oscar Sierra is overhead the field of 1,600. Do not have you in sight. We're joining downwind for 32. Roger, we got you in sight, no conflict. We'll be going underneath you. Roger. Okay, so we just passed overhead the field. We're about to join the mid right downwind for 32. We're going to have to extend a little bit, maybe because of him. Okay. We'll just wait a little bit. Okay, gear down. We have a bit of extra speed, so we can afford it. All right, I got him. Okay, he should be no factor for us. Yeah, we're way out here. But I guess we wanted to be wide just to give him time to be out of our way. Yeah, that's for like a traffic problem, Julie. Whiskey's two miles west, descending to one thousand five hundred. I guess started cross overhead. I guess kind of right down went two seven. Yeah, I guess real. I just got into a center base. Oscar Sierra is turning base three two full stop, Berlin. Really. Right, we need to descend. One of my other problems with this airplane was that I tended to be high in the circuit. And we're not descending, get the nose down. Got to descend, oh, we're really up overshooting. I think we're so far away still now. Uh, well, a little bit, but we still got to descend. Okay, they're just over the threshold now. I got him. Oscar's here, I'm just turning final, three, two, full stop, Burlington. So full flaps now, yeah? Nope. 25 minutes. So we just crossed the intersection of 3214, clearing roadway. Oh, because of the engine. Yeah. Got it. Now, yeah. the, are you worried about the symmetry of the power settings? No. We're leaving left at where it is? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I see what you mean. No, we want both forward in case we overshoot. Yeah. We're slow, nose down. Keep your hand on the right throttle. Start traffic, Victor CQ. Clear all active runways. Oscar Ceremony, short final 3 2. Okay, you handling the left one or whatever? No, you're bringing them both back together. Okay, that's what I was asking. All right, I got it. Good night, slide. Thank you. Huge thanks to sponsors and Patreon supporters for helping us create this content, and I hope you enjoy these real-time training episodes. We'll be doing more of this stuff in the future. I just got to work on judging my height in this thing because I felt like we were low, but then no, we were. we were <laughs> high. And please visit flightchops.com to check out the back catalog of over 100 episodes, join our mailing list so we can reach you independent of YouTube, and play our monthly contest where we give away stuff each month. And of course, keep your flight chops sharp. Hoover, come here. Oh, you got burrs all over him. Hoover, oh geez. Look at his tail, what a nightmare. Oh my goodness. Hoover. Okay. Oh, buddy. <laughs>